Hi everyone, it's Ruby and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a pack with me. <laughs> So I'm going to a residential like sort of place which has loads of activities in um, Cornwall and I'm going with my school and I'm really excited it should be very fun but obviously I need to pack and it's for one week so it's not like it's just like a bag for like overnight it's like a full on five days so I've got a suitcase. <laughs> Of course, I've got a suitcase. I was also specifically told not to bring a suitcase and to bring a bag, but what's the point in bringing loads of bags when I can just bring one suitcase? I feel like it's just like, why would I do that? So this is my suitcase. It's just like a plain white suitcase. I really like it. Even though it is half the size of my body, I am a small person, so it is actually quite a small suitcase. But I've already got all like the things I need set up because I don't think I needed to show that on camera, but I'm just going to pack it with you. It's so hot today. <laughs> The first thing I'm going to pack is my clothes. So I'm staying there for five nights, meaning that I need a pair of, like a couple pair of pajamas. And obviously I'm doing loads of sporting activities. So I'm gonna need like sporty outfits. And it's also supposed to be so hot. Like tomorrow it's supposed to be 32 degrees. Too much, so bringing like very hot summery clothes. So I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna do like my night outfits. So obviously in the day I'll be wearing like really simple kind of sporty outfits, but at night there's like cinema, roller, disco, bowling. So like I can wear cute outfits for that. This is a vest. So I've got that in brown as well. Um, then I've got my Brandy Melville vest, another Brandy Melville vest, and this shirt which I got from Sheen the other day. And I literally, I love it so much. I'll be wearing this one all the time. In total, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Five vests, which is obviously enough. Let's be honest, knowing me, I'll probably wear the same shirt every night. <sighs> Moving on. So they're the shirts. And to go with the outfit, I was thinking bottoms. We've got these shorts. They're from um, Sheen, again. And they're so nice. I love these. Then, these are bottoms. I don't even know if I end up wearing these. It depends if it's like, like, cool enough to do that because I thought it was going to be too hot to wear trousers but I love these I got these from a charity shop for like one pound 45 or something I've got a string in it because the waist is too big for me but it also looks nice if you do a little bow on the back I'm gonna try my hardest to be able to wear because I love these so much I'm not good at folding one more thing I've got which I'll be wearing kind of in the evening is this it's a slallinger black skirt skirt so it's like shorts and then it's got like a tight sort of pencil skirt on it as well this is also quite sporty so if i was doing an activity which wasn't like running that much because obviously it's going to ride up then i could wear this as well they're kind of the bottoms for like evening now we're going to move on to kind of the day outfits daytime outfits what i'm going to wear probably the most is an oversized shirt and tight shorts that's what i'm thinking We've got these, so these are like, well, they're quite short, but they do have tighter shorts underneath. They're like baggy, sporty shorts. Then we've got tight, sort of like short bicycle shorts, which are just honestly wear these all the time. I love them. They're comfortable and they're good for like sport activities. I've got another pair of the bicycle shorts. These are actually leggings, they're my mum's. She just cut them into shorts. So yeah, then I've got an extra pair of them. And then finally, we've got my leggings these are like yogury tight leggings i don't know if i end up wearing these but they're just kind of a backup if it's like cold or something they're the sporty bottoms then we've got tops some of these are quite new because i bought some the other day because i barely had any like new oversized tops those of my tops are like really done in got this one which is really comfortable we've got my north face one which is kind of like cropped a bit this is a bench one it's really big because it actually was in the men's section I honestly prefer men's oversized like sizing shirts. Got a lot of shirts. I've got another one. This is also a men's size one. Then finally, we've got a super sporty one, which I feel like I'll be wearing the most. The thing about this is it's really light, so it would be really nice to wear on a hot day. It looks like I'm taking a lot of clothes, and I know I won't be wearing like all of these, but honestly, it's for five days, and I know I'm not going to want to repeat outfits every day, am I? Now on to pajamas, my favourite outfits. Oversized shirts, that's literally what I'm going to be wearing. This is like the Generation V shirt. I wear them in quite a lot of YouTube videos. 
This is one I got from Sheen. I think, I, was this in a video? Comment down below if this was in a video. I can't really remember. Two vests. So the same vest, just in white and black. These are quite light to wear at night, aren't they? And if it's quite hot. Then we've got two pair of shorts. They're, these are the first ones. They're like pajama shorts. They've got little dots on them. And then also just these, which I wear all the time. They're just like grey. Classic shorts. Next up, we've got kind of comfy wear. It's just like a really light sort of see-through mesh. I don't know what it is, like a jumper, I guess, kind of. And I feel like I could put this over like a vest or a shirt and it's just kind of like a cover-up almost like. And then we've also got one hoodie. I don't know if I'll need this, but it's just my New York USA one, which I love. We've got one final piece of clothing, which are these pink joggers. I had to narrow down all my joggers, which was an absolute pain because I love all of them. So I ended up choosing these ones because they're my favorite ones. I think they look the best on me. <laughs> so I need to sit on it. That is that side done. All of my clothes are in it. Yeah, I've also got um, in this one, socks, hairbrush, my purse, a plaster, and also some underwear there. And I've also got my phone charger. But they were already pre-put in there because they're in this little flappy bit. <laughs> now we're gonna do this side. We've got some jackets. So we've got this one, which I got from Sheen. It's like this white, it's like almost like a swimsuit cover up, but I'd wear it with like an outfit. It's really light, so it's really good for, I'm gonna say hot weather so much in this, but it's really good for the hot weather. <laughs> then we've got two other ones. This like navy blue one. And I've also got another one, it's just a Hollister one. It's exactly like the last one. It's just a bit more of a jacket type one than like a cover up one. There's also a coat because it is supposed to rain on one of the days and obviously I don't want to get soaked. So you've got this light coat, it's actually Rayleigh's. But I'm just gonna put that in there. I don't think I'll need it. I've moved to sitting down because I am actually boiling. It's so hot. There is a swimming pool at this place and like water slides and one of the activities is going swimming. This is the one I'm gonna wear. It's like got little purple flowers on it, like that. And then just the matching bottoms. It's also just got a towel in there. Okay, we've got that in. Next up is kind of the skincare and makeup part. My kind of like wash bag, I guess. It's got makeup wipes, shampoo and conditioner, shower gel, a flannel, a mirror, because I don't think there's going to be a mirror, so I have to use that for my makeup. Toothpaste and a toothbrush. Literally everything I need. Then I've got my makeup bag, and in this there is my moisturizer, um, lip balm, highlighter, eyelash curler, eyebrow brush, contour, concealer, powder, mascara, I've got two because they're both running out, and lip liner and beauty blender. Honestly, I probably won't even wear makeup because so much effort, isn't it? I've also got my glasses because that is like a cinema room. And we'll also put these sunglasses in. These are my favorites. But I'm gonna put these in my rucksack, which I'll show you in a minute. Is it a backpack or a rucksack? I mean, it's small, so I guess it's a backpack. Final thing, or second to last final thing in my suitcase is snacks. I've been told that there's loads of food there. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna bring my own snacks. Crisps, this is like a cake bite thing, and also like a snack bar. If you've never tried nerds before, then you are literally living under a rock. You have to try these, they're so good. These are like sweets and these are like tuck things. They're almost like crackers, but they're like really good. I'll be sharing them with my friend. And to be honest, I told my mum, I said that's enough, but she carried on buying me loads of snacks. It wasn't my decision. We're just gonna put that in there. And finally, I'm gonna take my sliders. I am gonna be wearing my trainers and I just love these sliders. Like when I get out of the shower, I can wear them. It's just like, they're really convenient to wear. I'm gonna put these on my other side and just squish them in. <gasps> no, no. It just fell off. I almost just lost everything I just did. That was horrible. So that is the clothes side. It's got all my clothes in it. This is where all my other things are, kind of random things, I guess. And then we've got my snacks, my swimming costume, coat and jackets, skincare, makeup, and 
other signs she things there. Ugh. Ugh. I did it, but that was difficult. The final thing I need to pack is my backpack. So basically we're gonna be like kind of going around the resort for the day, which means that I won't be able to like go back to my room all day. So I need like a rucksack or like a backpack to take with me. So I've got this little one, which will fit like, um, just kind of the stuff I need to bring with me. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna pack in it. First thing I'm gonna put in this is a little hairbrush. This is just very nice for probably get kind of raggedy hair. Um, this is just gonna go straight in there. A cap for if it's really sunny. A little thing of deodorant. Fact 50 sun cream. <laughs> Vaseline, a face mask. This is actually a perfume. It's really, really good. This is um, breath spray because it's just like, I don't know, I just like it. I also like the taste of it, I don't know why. Got this massive thing of 60 pieces of gum just because I always love gum. I just always love chewing on gum. And then finally, this is a perfume. This is called Babe Powder by Misguided. If I'm ever gonna recommend any perfume, it's got to be this one. It's really cool to like open and start with. You like twist it and it goes up. And when I tell you, it smells amazing. And it's actually like, it's not very expensive. So it's just like a really good one which sticks. And then the smell actually stays and it smells so good. I love it so much. And that is what I've got in my rucksack. Rucksack, backpack, little mini backpack. So there's my backpack fully packed. All I need to do is fully close my suitcase and hopefully this works. Do that quite easily, actually. There we go. I actually did that very easily. That is my suitcase packed. That is everything fully ready to go. And yeah, I packed everything now. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I really love doing pack with me videos and I haven't done kind of an organizing video in a while. Obviously in the past I've done like organizing my desk area and things like that. And you guys seem to really like those videos. They seem to do quite well. So I thought I would do this as a video. I'm gonna go now because I need to prepare for tomorrow, but I will see you all next week. And thank you for watching. Bye. Enchanté. Thank you.